and loss in marketing. Yeah, we do. And there's a couple of, it's going to depend on the seller, right? And, and their personality and attitude. But let's, let's look at it a couple of different ways. So the first one is I'm asking them where are they, where are they seeing that data? Uh, I'll say, okay, well, these are the comps I have. You know, do, do you have different comps to me? Let's, let's see what you have and, uh, and dive into your data and we'll see, we'll see where that pricing comes from. Um, but really that the better way, and this, this goes, you can do this on several different levels, but it's the path of self-discovery, you know, tell someone what to do. They're probably not going to do it let them discover what they should do and that they're more likely to. So we'll we'll take a long, hard look at the numbers. I've been tracking on a spreadsheet the, the week on week, seven day rolling numbers for Hernando, Pasco, Hillsborough, Citrus, um, Pinellas for new listings, under contract, sold price reductions, withdrawn, expired. Um, and so we'll we'll look at those. And it's a very, very clear graph of where those numbers are moving. Um, so then we'll, we'll go a step further, okay? So we can see number of homes pendings going down, number of homes listed is going up.